Hello, welcome to the Daily Political Tower readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much for being here. I am here 365 days of the year to take your political questions and we just go through the news. Uh, we, we, uh, you know, I could just go through news straight up, but uh, I, I know I want to know, you know, kind of what's keeping you up at night. What's uh, what's haunting you um, and uh, what the current events are so that we can we can go through them together. We go we go through them together as a community. And uh, then I, I read on the collective energy. There is nothing I do that you can't. All of our souls, to my deep belief, are each a part of the divine, each one of us. And really what I do, I might have more experience. Uh, but mainly I just, I do it with graphics. That's, that's that. You are, I am as special as you are. So please don't ever think that, uh, that, oh, so-and-so has whatever, so-and-so has what, no, no, no. You have incredible value as you are in yourself that no one can ever take away from you. So I just wanted to say that I just felt, I felt like somebody needed to hear that today. So there you are. 10% um, of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That's an ongoing thing. And if you're watching this on replay, hello, uh, you can go down in the description box. There are... Um, there are questions there, I timestamp as I go, but there are a bunch of questions that I've just, I've just put in a Word document at the moment, uh, just because there were, there were so many. So I'm gonna see uh, if I, how much I can get through today to try to, uh, we'll, get, we'll get through the news together. Because I, I like you, I'm a, a, a new age news junkie. <laughs> so, and the window is open, so if it bothers you, please let me know. Uh, but it does mean the end, my nose is going to itch, because that's what happens when, uh, I, I uh, am not in a hermetically sealed anti-allergy bubble, apparently. <laughs> anyway, all right, so getting my cards out, we'll jump into the first question. And thank you, Kate. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kathy. And Janice, hello, hello. Uh, okay, one, one thing from uh, before I jump into the first question, from the, the comment section yesterday, uh, even if even if I don't, I'm usually in the wrong account, so I can't hit the the hearts to heart your comments. Uh, but I do I do read your comments as much as I can, and uh, depending how depends how brave I'm feeling. Uh, most of them are really nice, but if sometimes, oh boy. But in the comments yesterday, someone was saying that that I had been recently using. Uh, occasionally using a handful of sound effects just for fun, just just to make some some people laugh. That's important to me. But someone in the the chat said, please stop using any of the sound effects. It inspires migraines. Well, I don't want to hurt anybody. I I really don't. I don't want to hurt anybody. Um, but I'm. I'm a little confused by that because things like the game show fail is from TV. And a doorbell is a doorbell. So I don't know, maybe the, 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 the Trump has no talent buzzing isn't, I don't know, but, um, I'm a little confused by that. So I'm I'm going to off and on use the use the occasional sound effect just to to liven things up, just to because we're trying to the whole the whole point of the the graphics, the nails, the sound effect, the anything, um, the fun background, the cat, it's to keep the vibration high. So we can go down in the muck, do these, do deal with this horrible mucky energy from these politicians and this heinous energy that's in the news, but then we can immediately bounce, you know, we're like a, a, a beach ball that you push under the water so we can look at the news, but then we bounce right back up because it's like, oh, okay. So, all right. Well, 
Constant is saying sometimes ordinary noises can trigger migraines for some. Okay. All right. So lots of people are saying they like they they like the sound effects. So all right. Uh, I will occasionally use some. I don't use them constantly. And uh, just so you know. Um, Semper says I'm on the spectrum, so they trigger my sensitor, sen sorry, my sensory issues just a tad, but it's not anything I can't handle, and the spirit of them is humorous. Okay, good. All right. And Anne is saying we need everything we can we can use to be elevated above the muck. All right. All right. Okay. So let me let's jump in. Okay, this this is the one the one place I have started using a sound effect. All right, let's jump into the questions. Oh gosh, that's loud. Okay, that's that's just loud. There, that's plenty. Sorry, that was just loud. Um, all right, let me. Where's where did the questions go? Well hidden. And thank you so much for being here. I really am trying to make this the best space possible. I mean, for, you know, the, the patron saint of this channel has actually always been uh, Fred Rogers. Won't you be my neighbor? We go through this together and that's what we're trying to do. All right, we're in this together. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody. All right, so seven minutes in. Oh, gosh, I was talking for a long time. Seven minutes in, Eileen had a question. And I do try to give you guys credit for your questions and your great comments. And Seven minutes in, a federal judge, Jay Goodwin, was who was a Clinton appointment, ruled that a law prohibiting alteration of serial numbers on firearms violates the Second Amendment? What? I know, I see, I, I grab your questions, I throw them in there and I'm, I'm just going through the, the chat. Um, and this is actually from yesterday, but I, I'm, you know, going through the chat and I'm, I'm pulling, I, I basically grab everything and then I start taking out everything that isn't a question. So I'm double, I'm skimming through them, but it's sometimes I read these and it's just, it like hits me full force what's going on. And it's like, no, <laughs> federal judge Jay Goodwin, a Clinton appointee ruled that a law prohibiting alteration of serial numbers on firearms violates the Second Amendment. What does this mean in the long run? No. Matter of fact, I just, I picked up the deck. It was the hangman. No. No, no. Nay, nay. Thank you, Janice. No. No, no. 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 Eh, okay. Sound effect. There. Is this going to stand? This, this is, this, I've, I've got red flags. I got red flags going up all over the place on this reading. The energy. If there is a police department in this country that is not going to fall over themselves saying no, then they don't value their own lives. Is this going to become a thing? No. The energy I'm getting is no, but it's still scary. Oh, Kathy Lipson, I'm afraid I have my questions for today, but do, do throw your questions in before I come on. I'm here 365 days of the year. Smoke and mirrors, how would you be able to, f there's, there's, it helps law enforcement so much, so much to have those, those numbers. Oh, look. Judgments. 
seven of pentacles, six of swords, swords, swords. Why are we saying swords? Uh, Empress and please vote, please vote for Democrats. Please, 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 please. Do not let do not let extremists get power. I I know this this judge was a, a Clinton appointee. I don't care. The as Kevin was just saying in the chat. Hang on, where is he? In Texas, if law enforcement comes across an altered number, the gun is confiscated, and you you got some splinting to do. Yes, and it helps them immeasurably and and it helps them track firearms it helps them follow firearms back the history uh in america the far right they're not going to give up on this but if there is a if there is a frankly if there is a police department or a parent in this country who's okay with that I don't know. You, you, you. I think you. I don't know. You, you must be the type who would put pictures of yourself and your children carrying automatic weapons on a Christmas card. Christ Mass Christmas card. And as I've said before, if you are the type who would put pictures of your children with semi-automatic or automatic weapons on a Christmas card, you have lost the plot. Anyway, yikes. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. By the way, I know two of you voted. Uh, you're saying you, you voted. Uh, it was uh, Velma's Mama voted this past Tuesday at the election board in New York, New York. No, in York, Pennsylvania. I'm working on the polls November 8th. Thank you. Thank you, Velma's mama. And Darren I've, says, I voted yesterday, hand carried my mail-in ballot to my local board of elections. Our county is red, but not one single Republican got my vote, even if he or she was running unopposed. Thank you for voting. Thank you. Thank you for voting. Oh, Desert Dawn says, my spouse and I just turned our ballots in. Yes, yes. Oh, and good point, Kathy Rollins. Women are more regulated than weapons. Yeah, that, that, that extreme is, yeah. Six of Cups, High Priestess, Two of Pentacles. If this ends up standing, if this becomes a thing, it's going to be a fight and it's and and trust me the the people who believe in common sense gun safety will not stop so there is that hello rachel oh yuck all right so huh Now, a couple of other questions I didn't get through yesterday. Uh, 14 minutes in. Come on. John Fetterman in Pennsylvania. They were giving, uh, they were giving him garbage about uh, how apparently during, an, during a, um, an interview, he was using some form of closed captioning or something. I forget. I don't, I don't know exactly how it was working, but they were attacking him for that on the, on the right, because of course, but John Fetterman released a, a long awaited update on his post stroke health. His doctor said Fetterman continues to exhibit some auditory processing issues, but that his communication is significantly improved. Come 2023, John Fetterman will be better. And Dr. Snake Oil will still be a jerk. Just saying. 
But how's it going to go? How's it doing, Fetterman? It's going to go with his. Uh... Kathy Rollins says that was an MSNBC interviewer that made the story about her observing him using the captioning device. Mary says, I'll be taking my ballot to drop off a drop off box tomorrow before attending a reproduction rights rally. Thank you. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Women are mad. Women voters are mad and their allies. Oh, yep. And women, women are right in the middle of this. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, boo boo. You doing okay? You woke up from a nap to do a little bathing. Yes. Helms' mom says, I just voted for him. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, on the right, they think they've got a thing. Remember the v veggie tray fiasco? People voting. And that's women right in the middle. And that's Oz. And it's not going to go well for him. It really isn't. He's an idiot. This this very much feels like Oz. Women. Rovember. But just... It's, it's, it's not going to be the blowout in the House and the Senate that I wish it was going to be, but, and I do think he's, he's getting better. So, you know, unfortunately in the long, long, long term, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's at risk of, of having another stroke in the, the far future, but he, I'm sure he's he's got medication for that, and they're taking good care of him. He feels like he's getting better, and he 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 feels like he he was pretty strong in the first place. So, yes, and crudite anyone? That reminds me, I've got to do some grocery shopping. <laughs> you open my you open my I have a little mini refrigerator. You open it up right now, and it's just like moths fly out. It's ugh. All right. 1730. Eileen had a question about the House GOP. Uh, 17, let's make it 1745. Okay. So the um, House GOP introduced a bill that descri they're describing as a don't say gay bill. I think personally, I think that's a don't vote for you bill. Inspired by Florida law, <laughs> Florida law. It's like, it's like the worst, worst version of Florida man. That Florida law, Florida law that bans instruction on gender identity, et cetera, for K through third grade. Will it backfire on them? Last GP enters a bill described as a national don't say gay bill. And so some kids can't talk about their parents. Tam 322, I totally agree with you. Why do people vote for, for why do people vote for these people? Yeah. Moonshot says, isn't that protected in the First Amendment? I think they're trying to to make it in the schools. Sempers, let let the states decide. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Kathy Rollins says that bill is utterly deplorable. They should be ashamed of themselves. And I agree. Uh, hello, Sheila. And I, I, where did I just see that? Kevin says, I wonder how they're going to reconcile the Christmas lyric. Don't we know our gay apparel? Ooh, 
you put all our rights in peril. Oh, please don't vote for them. Don't vote for them. Yeah, yeah, just hem people in. Yeah, just reality. Unbelievable. King of Swords. Oh, yeah. Laws of the Moon. Temperance. Ace of Swords. Knight of Cups. Um... Uh, this morning, I was listening to Chicago's Progressive Talk Radio, and Hal Sparks uh, was saying, "If you know, from it, it, the, that famous noise from the beginning of Law and Order, it, it really is dum dum." <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, dum dum. Infuriating, stupid. We're a, we're better than this, and let me tell you. He, she looks fabulous. He, she, gentle thems, whatever, look absolutely fabulous. Truth, this is not going to, it's not, okay, this is culture war garbage. It will not stand in the long run. No, no. Evelyn Hartman says, I enjoy watching Hal Sparks. Oh, yeah. Especially when he starts doing characters. Those are great. I don't do... Unfortunately, I, I can't do um, impersonations very well. So. Okay, he's great. All right. We'll, we'll read more on, on the house. And their, the heinous things that they're trying... Going, that they're hoping to do. And again, if I showed you guys the database I have now of gubernatorial candidates and astrology charts and polling data and readings I've done and governors, Senate races, and then House, it's a huge thing. It's a lot of work. So, and uh, and I've got to thank Sarah, who's who's helped me, especially with some of the most obscure obscure candidates who although um she has said sarah has said she said have you noticed that the crazier the candidate the less information there is about them online you want to find out somebody's birthday you want to find out where they were born, where they were raised. It's just. Oh, Kat, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I would not know off. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of people. I'm afraid I don't I have very few of them in, in front of mind. I'm sorry, but I will be sharing. Uh, so. Ugh. <clears throat> All right. And so uh, at 24 and a bit minutes in, Jean A had a question at 24.15. Will the 18 to 25 year old make a big difference in the November midterm elections? True. Catch up and governor, government, governor cabinet. Okay. Linda Kingsley says all the money in the, the GOP is spending on stit could have uh, gotten schools fixed here. That. Okay. All right, 18 to 25 year olds. 
you're voting, right? You're voting. Tell me you're voting. Please tell me you're voting. Please, please vote. I know you think I'm old, but I was in college. First time I voted. And it's one of the things I will carry with me for the rest of my life with joy. Because the very first time I voted, I got to vote against David Duke becoming governor of Louisiana. I know some of you have heard this story before, but I'm I'm talking I'm talking to you, 18 to 25 year olds. The previous wizard of the KK stupid was running for governor and was doing pretty well. Matter of fact, there was a runoff and he was one of the candidates. So I got to vote against David Duke twice. And I get to carry that the rest of my life. And you too get to vote against the most heinous people who think that they can have a voice in society. And everybody has some voice in society, but you do not get to be a leader. No, nay, nay. Fascism, supremacy garbage. Please, please, you will, you will, you will carry the pride of that for all of your days if you vote against fascism and supremacy. Just say it. Okay. Now. Oh. Okay. Card kind of, I, I put three cards down. Another card came out like, no, 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 I'm number two. It's like, oh, okay. So it might be a last minute kind of thing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You know you're being ignored, right? You know you know the people on the right are thinking you're not going to show up. But we know better. Knight of Cups. Ding ding. Brave brave knights fighting for democracy. Look at that. How beautiful is that? fighting for democracy, fighting for equality against Republican calcified heinousness. Look at this, look at all these, these Democrat, Democrats voted into office, all of these votes for Democrats and, and making our institutions work better for everybody. Look at that beauty, beautiful thing. I, I really, I do think that they will turn out. They will. And thank you. Thank you for voting. All right. Yes, Cheryl, Elijah Cummings didn't sit back and let our democracy slip away. Vote. Thank you. Kevin Brazil says, my first vote was against Ronald Reagan. But you carry that. Adrienne says, uh, my daughter felt ignored because they're not paying attention to the young people. That's why she voted. She's angry. Please thank her for voting for, for us. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. All right. <clears throat> Weezy Squeezebox says, when I started voting, everything voted for was voted down until it came to the Clean Air Act. I breathe better now. And we all breathe better now because, because of what you did. Thank you. All right, Adrian, I will. Oh, good. Good, good. All right. At 20, I'm sorry if I, 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 I didn't get to your comment, uh, but they're very important. 2945. All right, what's going on with the Miss USA pageant? Um, I'm 
I, I'm not going to, Eileen, I've, I already I read on one of your questions today, so I'm not going to, actually two of your questions today, but I'm not going to, but I'm curious what, I haven't heard about the Miss, Miss USA organizer suspended as allegations new winner was pre-selected. The pageant rigged, continue to, pageant rigged, continue to surface when we see the end of the contest. I, I could, I'll have to, I'll have to look that up, but uh, I, I don't know anything about it. Um. But um, anyway, but I've answered two of your questions today already. So we're going to go on to, I've got uh, three questions here about Russia and Ukraine. Oh boy. Oh boy. So um, at where, where am I? Uh, 30, 31, 31 minutes in. You're all right, sweetie. You're all right. Russian defense advisor accidentally throws Putin under the bus in live interview. Ooh, boy. Is this person still alive? Ruslan Pukov? Is that his name? Is Ruslan Pukov still uh, breathing oxygen? A disastrous live TV interview. Ruslan Pukov, and forgive me if I'm uh, mispronouncing that, a defense analyst and member of the Russian Defense Ministry's Public Council, sat down with RBC for a segment on the weapons being used in Ukraine. And apparently had no idea he was on an open mic. Thank you, Marby. Thank you. Oh, boy. He told the TV hosts not to rock the boat too much with questions about the Iranian drones being used in Ukraine, since, quote, we all know they are Iranian, but authorities will not admit it, unquote. Check your tea. Stay away from windows. Oh boy. Yeah, Lola Bell under the bus and out the window. You're about to be, you you are you are potentially about to be unalived. <laughs> Yeeted from a great height. Yeah, Mary Huddleston saying he's gonna get a terminal case of window cancer. Oh man. Um so what happens to Russ Pukov? I mean, he's a defense minister for Putin. So frankly, pff, defense analyst for Putin. So I, I'm not really going to read on him per se, because um, you, sorry, if you were in Hitler's government, I, I don't, yeah, whatever. Uh, but I do care about the Iranian uh, drones being used and how Russia is bombing the snot out of Ukrainian infrastructure, Ele electric water, man. Iranian drones, really? Oh, terror. Absolute terror. Whew. Queen of Cups. Oh, Ukrainian people. They're, oh, man. It's, oh, bless these people. Bless, bless Ukraine. Bless Ukrainians. You're troopers. You do not mess. Do not mess. Uh, Flora says here in Australia, it's compulsory to vote. We get a fine if we don't. Really, I hope you guys have a blue wave. I do too. Thank you. Uh, and thank you. Well, I, you get a fine if you don't, but thank you for voting anyway, because democracy is important. And says utilities putting Ukraine in the cold, utilities putting Ukraine Ukrainians in Ukraine in the cold and the dark. Yeah, but troopers, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. 
And by the way, the talking points on the, the far right, your Glenn Becks, your all those jerks, they're still, we can't afford to help Ukraine. Yeah, because it will be so much cheaper if we have to go to war for and put boots on the ground in a NATO country. Wait for that forward thinking, Glenn. And lay off the fast food. Trust me. Queen of Cups. Oh, bless. I mean, seriously, how can you do this to people who are just trying to live their lives? The land isn't yours. The stuff isn't yours. And then what? You go and you... St I cannot wrap my head around the serial killer that... Um, the, the serial killer that was Putin. Three of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Tower. You're going to lose. Russia, you are going to lose. They're, they're strong. They're hanging in there. They're not going to give up. This is Putin. He's trying and trying and it's not working. And then he's doing all of this damage. And it's all of this damage, but it doesn't feel like it doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Did I just see something about Sarah? Um my understanding is Sarah's uh Sarah's got the day off. Sarah won't be Sarah Sarah wasn't helping me today. So she just, she can't she she doesn't help me every day, so I'm always here. But uh, she's, but I, I want to say she's spending time with with her kids today, which is great. Man, man, oh day. Uh oh, hold please. Do not mess with Ukrainians. All right. I like that, Jean. Jean's saying, do the Russian soldiers have a special power so they won't be in the cold in the dark? Yeah. Putin doesn't care. He's got a billion dollar house. I saw her in the FB chat, made a silly reply. Oh, okay. She was in the chat. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you, Kevin, for being so kind. Oh, you saw her there too. Thank you, Stephanie. You guys, you are the best community. You you make the best community. Thank you. Yes, you. Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Death. You can throw at them whatever you want. There's there's no give here on the Ukrainian side. Whatever chance you had in the past to even get a postage, a st postage stamp amount of land from Ukraine is long gone. If there is a Ukrainian left alive, breathing air, and then after that, people who want to, who who might, would want to avenge them. Russia is, that was an accident, but yeah, th that was the storm. That was the storm sound effect. I pumped my phone. Yes, you can't. Russia, you're going to lose. All right. Um, at 39.30... Caro says Ukrainians keep a wary eye on U.S. midterm elections. Oh, jeez, fearing a loss of support. But those Republicans love war. <sighs> really? Yeah.
<sighs> See, I'm going through my head as I'm, I'm quiet here at the moment because I'm going in through my head. Uh, the other night I was actually was watching Hal and uh, he was he was he was responding to Glenn Beck talking to Stu. I guess Glenn Beck's, uh, well, Glenn Beck's flunky, Stewart. I don't know. Um, but Glenn Beck, he was complaining first that all of this money is being spent, and you can you can look to see it's being spent and 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 all of this, and we can't afford it. We can't afford it. And then at the end, he was saying, and we don't even know where that money's going. Now, I was thinking about going to college and being a philosophy major. I didn't didn't decide to go that down that route, but I don't think you you'd need a degree in philosophy to think your way through that one. Oh, CC Ryder. Mwah. Yahoo News, Mitch McConnell breaks with Kevin McCarthy, pledges to send more aid to Ukraine if Republicans win the Senate. Oh, it still makes my skin crawl. But the House, that's good. That's good. Yay. But one, it's Mitch McConnell. Two, House controls the House controls the purse strings. So money is going to have to, the, the, anything about money is going to have to start in the House. Oh, look, thieves. Nine of wands, five of wands, ace of cups, king of wands, knight of swords. Please vote and rain on their parade. They are the far right. They are, they may have, they won all those, these primaries around the country. But this is a, a real rise of democratic power, of kindness. And this is law enforcement coming after Trump, which is linked to what all these far right people are doing. Please vote. Please. Will they would, would they do it? Yes. But would they do it? Yes. Will they Will Republicans stop funding going to Ukraine? That's America. Hanged Man, Knight of Cups, Moon. Cups are Democrats, right in the middle. Fighting, fighting for decency, equality, and suspension here of this nonsense. And then the right... I know, I know election day is November 8th. Just, um, just understand things will not be settled on the evening of November 8th or even November 9th. I mean, beside the fact that, that Louisiana, that's actually their primary. November 8th is their, the day for the primary in Louisiana. Their actual, their actual election day is December 10th. I want to say something like that. It doesn't usually, it just doesn't usually come down to Louisiana. So we don't usually think about that. Um, yikes. The, it's, it's, the right is going to be a total pain in the, a bunch of, 
we, oh, who was it yesterday? I want to thank you again. Great suggestion for, because I, I do not want to call anyone a Karen. There are some lovely, lovely people named Karen, but uh, Banshee, I like that, male and female, even though traditionally Banshees were women, but no, male and female, the Banshees, yeah, and not Susie and the Banshees, because they were awesome. Um, I, I just, I actually, I should just, just stop and move on. Okay. 46. Martin had a question. 46. Will the Curzon water dam be destroyed? Probably by the Russians. That This would be a problem because the water is used for the nuclear plant. Jeez. Oh, silly me, I was just worried about people dying in floods. B. Smith says ban is the is Irish for a woman. Well, what would a what would a male banshee be then? But we need to call them something because they need they need a name and it needs to not be Karen. Oh. Sandy Miller says McConnell also said no new Supreme Court appointees during an election year, then push through Trump's nasty trash. I know. I know. Fershi. Oh, thank you, Peace. Fershi. Banshee or Fershi? If it, what if, I could be wrong, but what it feels like is if, I'm, here's on water dam, is this, is this dam anywhere near Kiev or is it, is it, is it near Kiev or is it, is it like, it's down in the disputed areas kind of thing? Um, Because I think that makes a big difference. Let me have a let me have a look. Let's pull up a let's pull up a little. It's in the south. Thank you, Sampras. Um, Zelensky calls on the West to warn Russia not to blow up the dam. Jeez. Oh, Newsweek said yesterday the Curzon flooding would be like dropping an atomic bomb. If Putin strikes the dam, it contains a huge mass of water, millions of tons. Let's look at the pictures. Let's look at the pictures. Share. Okay. So, well, that's it. Is there a map? No. All right. Well, it it looks important. So, yeah. You know, let's not do that. There we go. In the south. Stephanie uh, is saying supposedly Russia has mined it. Not to mention, not mentioned in this article, but in others. Oh, geez. Alice is saying one reports that a fifteen-foot wall of water. Oh, jeez. Uh, Mel says it's in the south near the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, in the Dnipro. Oh, jeez. Oh, they were just, they were just, just dumb, just dumb. King of Swords, Hierophant. He, this is military that potentially could, this is an institution, which could be the dam itself. And this is looking at it, but I don't have catastrophe. Let me see if I can get any more information.
Shay Laughter says it's just northeast of Odessa. Thank you. Queen of Swords. Judgment. King of Cups. The humanitarian disaster would be massive. The judgment that would fall down on Russia. But Putin's getting desperate. I'm getting pieces of the, the, the answer. Don't do it. Don't do it. But if you get desperate enough, I'm not. I'm not getting it happening. I hope I'm right. No one. No one who who reads on the collective is ever a hundred percent accurate. I just pick up as best I can. I'm. I'm not getting it being attacked. Yikes, man. All right. So, where am I? I think I'm about to switch over to the Word documents for the question. So, all right. So, uh, Vel Ray. Okay, Vel at uh, fifty-two. Fifty-two. Well, Ray was saying a federal appeals court has blocked the student loan forgiveness program. Will the program succeed on appeal? Eileen was asking, will the decision by a Trump appointed judge to put Biden's student loan forgiveness program on hold hurt the Republicans in the election? Yes, true. And Pootie's still mad about his bridge. Yes, Alice. Putin's vibes are negative one quadrillion, I think that is. So, blocking the student student loan forgiveness program. Three cards. Will will that go through? And then three cards. Will Republicans being against means tested, limited student loan forgiveness hurt them. Student loan forgiveness program. He suspended it based on what? Doesn't feel like there's a there there. All right. Will this hurt Republicans? This garbage. Oh, but yeah, please forgive all their personal PPP loans. PPE? PP? Yeah, PPE loans? I forget. I thought the, P, the last P was protection. Anyway, no, E. Yeah, PPE is equipment. Okay, PPP loans. I, I was right. I was right the first time. Okay, sorry. Just, just trying to go work it through in my own head. Yeah, Trump appointed judge. And when you pass over into the other, onto the other side, Trump, will you have left anything except death and destruction and cruelty in your wake? What good will you have left? All right, will this suspension of this go forward. This feels like the, um, it feels like the Democrats will eventually pick this up in the, in Congress. It will be, it will be, it will be clearer. It will be made clearer. Will this hurt Republicans? Three of them. Oh yeah, we've we've taken away women's rights. We've uh, 
pers personally profited from PPP, uh, lo forgiven loans, we've, uh, we want to pass all kinds of, take more rights away and give tax, uh, and take, give tax breaks to the uber rich, gut the EPA. Yeah, and boy, we've done so much. Just it's like it's like they're just standing there going, "Okay, we've done such great things," and the, the votes are just going to roll in. Your thieves, page of wands, ace of cups, raining on your parade, ace of pentacles, but it's not going to be a blowout. But these are this isn't the ace of wands. This isn't the far right. There are even some Republicans who are more moderate, who are like, okay, we don't want this extremism over here. But there's there's going to be pushback against the extremists. So, oh gosh, Stephanie found it. Uh, a, an article in Student Loan Relief Block. Thank you. All right. Why? It's, it, cruelty is the point, and I don't understand why. I don't get it. Don't get it. Oh, sorry. Drop the mouse. All right. 57. Okay, so I did that about the young voters. School boards nationwide. 57. Yikes. Trillium Tarot brought up moms for liberty uh trying to take over school boards nationwide weren't we just talking about okay and i like that how about bellatrix <laughs> for parents yes oh gosh Thank you, Melbersard. PPP, Paycheck Protection Program. Moms for Liberty trying to take over school boards. Boy, they sound like a lovely bunch. Curious. Moms for Liberty. Stop woke indoctrination. We do not co-parent with the government. Uh. Moms for Liberty was founded by three people, Tina, Tiffany, and Bridget. Um, And there's right-wing money and influence behind Moms for Liberty. Oh, boy. All right. They sound lovely. He devils and she devils, says Linda. There we go. This, this The energy of this one is just a complete... I'm just like... <laughs> Who said that in the chat? Trillium was suggesting, how about Bonnie and Clyde? Oh, they would take that as a compliment. I was not blessed with children, but I cannot even imagine, and I cannot even imagine being in a room with these people. Fruits of labor. Yeah, they're definitely getting getting support from the right. Sun. Empress. Justice. Strength. Four of Wands. It feels like a it, it feels like a I um I'm getting a mental image of, of like a pressure cooker valve. Uh, this is not based in anything, anything good. Uh, mothers who think 
could I put this? Um, you say you don't co-parent with the government, but you send your kids to a public school. How, how does, how did, okay, am I, am I wasting my time on logic? Uh, wanting to, they're, they're, it feels like they're going to be around for a while and they're, they're going to be awful, but it feels like a pressure, a, a, a pressure valve. It stops, wow. It stops some of the um, pressure building up and, and radicalizing some people further. Anne says, my mom blew up a pressure cooker with beans at a high al altitude. Well, this, this feels like it's, it's an open pressure valve. And there's all kind of nasty scalding steam and potential burn if you get too close. And um, it doesn't smell very good. And it's just damp and ugh. But that's what it feels like. But they're going to be around for a while. Or this type of thing is going to be around for a while. Oh, man. Hanged man. Seven of... Seven of swords, emperor. They'll get pushed back from other, other parents who eventually start banding together to be like, no, we're not playing this game. But they absolutely, you know, go patriarchy. But they'll end up on the defensive eventually. So it's up to you, parents. It is up to you to stand up to these bullies. So... Oh boy. All right. Okay. Um, let's see here. The subpoena demands 103 and a bit. Let's just check in on this. 103. What's which subpoena you say? <laughs> there are so many. Subpoena demands Trump documents by November 4th and testimony under oath by November 14th, which is after Election Day. Let's affect the midterms. Well, is he going to turn over documents by November 4th or <laughs> testify before T? I, I know. I, I know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm hysterical, aren't I? Eight of he has there's so much. Oh, it came out today in case you didn't see uh, that some of the top secret information Trump had was about Iranian and Chinese military capabilities. That's what I read this morning. Why would he need that? Ten of Wands. Six of swords, five of wands. I'm sure they put they had things in. I don't know if it was on purpose or not. It feels a little bit on purpose, or it was just wildly fortuitous that it came out about Trump getting that subpoena just a few hours after Steve Bannon was sentenced to prison. Um is he is Trump there's he has so much stuff but if anything I'm, I'm wondering if he's starting to split up whatever he has left to, to, to different places and different people yeah there there are there are rabid wolves I would trust more than Trump Uh, 
Ten of Wands. So, so many documents. So much stuff. Page of Pentacles. Thief. Well, documents. This isn't just the top secret stuff. This is this this refers to January sixth, but. Here's a thief. And he thinks he's so clever. I know. I have a great idea. I'll do this. Oh, yeah. J for genius. Donald Dim J for genius Trump. Um, so that's will he comply? Will it have an effect on the midterms? One oh six thirty. One six thirty. Okay. Will it have an effect on the midterms? Will all this stuff of going after Trump, January sixth committee, all the the criminal, all the indictments, all of the investigations, all of the. All of that being in the news. I'm hearing his crowds are getting smaller. I've I've actually heard he's canceling some rallies. I don't know. Now, that's r rumor. I don't have like, you know, the Washington Post is saying, you know, I don't, I don't have a credible news source, but it wouldn't surprise me. Considering what I read that he had to spend $22 million. No. Yeah. He had to spend $22 million to make 24 million from his, to get that money from his supporters. Mm hmm. Let's affect the midterms. It's definitely taking up some of the oxygen in the room. Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. It's not helping Republicans, um, but a lot of this th that um, you know how the R the RNC has been um, the official party apparatus of the Republican Party. They've been spending money on, on Trump's legal bills. Money, lots of money that could be going to races, could be helping elect candidates, going to lawyers. And fees and things like that, which we, has weakened the Republicans a, at least a bit. And this is Democrats doing much better. So it's not, I don't know that it's a game changer, but it's certainly weakened. It's certainly done its part to weaken Republicans at the midterms. And again, Trump weakens everything because he is the walking embodiment of all seven deadly sins. That's his choice. So Wheezy Squeezebox says Trump canceled a rally in Georgia. Really? Mary Huddleston says, I've read on Twitter accounts, I trust that people have been walking out of his rallies. Well, they're definitely, they'll, they'll put like 15 minutes into his his speeches. They, they put pictures like at the door, people of like the, in the venue, like the door that would go where you go in or out. And people just start leaving. Not just like, oh, a few people are going to, you know, go use a facility. No, no, no. Just only taking their whole families, just leaving. So, ugh. all right. Um, all right. Okay. Answer the question about the uh, dam. Um, all right. That's it's one thirty, and I'm running out of energy. But I do. Let's have a look at. Let's. I'm just going to very quickly pull a few cards on. Boris, 110 in a bit. Because he's talking as if he's going to become prime minister again. 
because it went so well last time. Oh boy. Yeah, this isn't feeling any better for him than it did last time. Although still, I get that icky energy. It, it, it feels as if things have moved on from you, Boris. You've, you've single-handedly made the Labor Party look so much better. High priestess to, 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 to labor. Yeah, it's you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Bye. Um, so, yeah. all right. Nah. All right. It is one. Uh, 1.31 p.m. here in Chicago. At 4 o'clock, I'll be over on the Creative Sprints channel to do Creative Sprints. Uh, bring your creative projects, any kind. And we just focus on our projects for 25 minutes at a time. And then we spend a few minutes uh, just trying to encourage each other. Um, other than that, guess where I'll be? Tomorrow, noon, or just after in Chicago, Chicago time. Right back here. Because I'm here 365 days of the year. I kid you not. I kid you not. And I have been here every single... I started doing daily live streams a day after Christmas in 2019. I had an emergency that following April for five days. And other than that five days, I've been here every single day since. Seriously, it's October, it's October 22nd, 2022. And I'm here every single day. So if there's news happening... I'm your woman. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You're not alone. We are in this together. And there are good days ahead. There are. All right. So hang in there and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Take care. Be back by 10. Take a sweater. <laughs>